Uy, tayo. Bawit ay yan ang mag-touchdown. Nugon. Hey guys, kamusta na? Ah, ano nang gilay ka mo, Dira? Pasensya na. Nagatan, ako sa bungsa Super Bowl. Kaya it's Super Bowl sa Andidri sa bungsa Amon. So, this is one of the sports event. Ganyan yung ginabantayan. Kaya, normally, wala mang ganito kung nagatan ako. But, pag Super Bowl time, ganito. Na, ito ka namin talang. Wala kayo ka intense. Kaya, dudamo action. Medyo malawig lang galing hampang. Pero, yeah. Especially Tom Brady. Pasubong kasi Mahons ang nag- in control so it's a little bit exciting and i think people are looking forward to this uh, match up and imagine tom brady he's very ano na medyo lawig na ni siya pero kung madawag pa ni siya it's i think it's his ninth super bowl or seven i'm not sure pero yeah he's one of the best goat gani tawag pa ni siya pero si mahomes bata pa pero grabe man siya actually last year sila nag champion so medyo blantaya ni nga match up subo But anyways, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to NTV. Last week, wala ko nag vlog kay medyo sako, medyo busy. Tapos doon damo lang bilang nobra during weekends. Oh. Kaya weekends lang subong ako nga chance kayo makapag-vlog. So, kung hindi ko makapag-vlog, so bawi lang ko pag may time. So today, Super Bowl Sunday, gawari sila kay base bala ko no damo mag-house party naman kasi Super Bowl. Super Bowl. Normally, mga tao nag-gather ngayon sa mga balay-balay para mag-Super Bowl Sunday. Kaya I hope subong wala sila nag-gather kaya basi wala magdamo naman ng cases dito sa Canada. Ang restriction ngayon naman subong medyo nag-grabe. So, hopefully, medyo malimit lang mga tao mag-gathering subong. And hopefully, hindi magtaas ang cases ang COVID. But anyways, thank you galing sa mga nag-watch na ako ng last video. Medyo... Malawig, pero pasensya na mo. I'm trying to cut it off. I'm trying to make sure nga medyo may detalye ako ng mga video nga gina-post. Um, ang mga topic nga gina-story ako sa inyo, it's always based on my experience and mga personal information na din sa mga tao nga ma- ma-encounter or may story ako. And hopefully, may makuha ka mga information. Before anything else, gali, happy Haro Fiesta or belated har- happy Haro Fiesta. So guys, I remember gali one time may namangkot sa akin kung which one I would suggest coming here as a working permit or a work visa or applying for a permanent resident right away. So I will explain it to you a little bit of this and that para ma clear sa inyo gamay because that question before na realize ko man nga I think some people will consider the other side or some people consider the other side so I'll tell you a little bit of each para may klaro pagid gamay guru sa inyo para maintindihan nyo pagid kung ano ang mas maayo para sa inyo if in the future you wanted to apply in Canada so yeah I will tell you about it akong gin nga personal experience and ano akong gin nga opinion or suggestion para sa inyo and at the end you have to wait, wait for the end of the video kaya may isuggest gid ako sa inyo nga pathway pa kanto dili sa Canada which I strongly suggest however it will require a little bit more of thinking or of being open minded about it because it requires a lot so I will tell you about that later after at the very end of the video and I hope you get something out of it okay okay guys so i'll talk to you about work permit again sa work visa and three days sa canada remember sa akong yung previous video kin muna ako ng mga topics so like i said before if you come here as a work permit simply of course my employer ka your employer will provide you job right away so ang pagabot ang bot silingon pagabot mo dere may trabaho ka na you are gonna work as scheduled Let's say, pag about mo, they will just give you, okay, I'll give you 3 days, 5 days, or 7 days para mag-adjust ka na sa climate, adjust, adjust ka sa environment, adjust ka sa mga situation mo sa balay. Like, there are employers that they'll provide housing or, you know, other apartments for you. Or kung damo ka mo, they might, you might share it with other people. Doon mo na bala. So, ng employer muna nag-provide, hindi ka pangita para sa inyo, para may istaran ka mo right away, pag-abot nyo sa Canada. And of course, right away, you will have a job specific. Ang yung mga job, ang gina-applyan, kagang yung mga job description. 
as well as they will have you covered with the medical insurance paplayon ka na nila sa uh, health insurance dito sa Canada para para before ka magwork may insu- health insurance ka and they'll I think I remember I still pay some of it a portion of it and then your employer will pay a portion of it as well kay temporary ka lang mo hindi ka pa man permanent resident um yeah so that's it that's the very uh direct uh information nga ma share ko sa inyo when you come here as a work visa you have the privilege to work right away and of course like i said before too um bis kan work visa ka lang it doesn't mean na damo ka ng limitation you have the chance na if you want to go apply for a us visa there are chances nga ma-approve ka man or maka-apply ka. I'm not sure if you are qualified enough for US visa. It's up to you or it's up to your application. But that those are the uh, one of the, you know, perks that uh, if you're here, you can apply. And if you want to go to US, you might possibly get a US visa. Because an experience ko, huh? So that's what I'm telling you. And of course, even you're in a work permit, you're in Canada. You are allowed to travel around Canada if you want to. If you land in, let's say, if you land here in Vancouver and your work is in Calgary or in Edmonton or Winnipeg or in Toronto, if you have time to go for a vacation, you are allowed to travel, of course, around Canada. So if gusto mo ya, diba, they don't stop you. And you're not required for a for a visa to travel around Canada anyway. So with all that good things nga pwede mo enjoy dri sa Canada while you have a work visa, there's only only I think one or two things na mahambal ko nga the cons of having a or in a work permit status. One thing is of course you only have one employer and you're just allowed to work with that employer because you're under contract you have to work with that employer. You're not allowed to work other employers or other work unless you have a valid work permit to that kind of work or to other jobs. So you're just allowed to work with that employer while, you, while you're while you in Canada. So because you're under contract, it's it's specifically gonna indicate gina sa mga contract that you only have one employer, which is the one that hired you. So that's one of the cons, right? So you cannot breach that or if you do something and you know if the employer will report you if they found out that you were doing something illegal the employer will report you and you know that will cost you your employment so i think that's one of the biggest thing i think mumalang na gid yang na feel ko before na na hindi ako privileged enough to to find a better job if I do find a better job, I need to apply for work permit, which requires a lot of you know, pa, damo pa requirements. And you have to find an employer. Let's say you started as a grocery store clerk. You apply for a grocery store clerk. After a year, you find out na doon di ka happy sa work mo. You can look for another employer. However, you cannot work with that employer until you get a work permit. Okay, so in short, pwede ka maka-apply sa ibang employer but they have to apply for your work permit bago ka nila pobrahon legally sa ilang kind of job or if you want to transfer different kind of job. Okay, and you cannot just go work there and then later on come back to the old employer. I don't think that the old employer will allow you. Did you get that? I mean, for working now in the grocery store and you find a different job, you like the job, the employer kind of let you work and they said they're going to apply for your work permit and then you went there, left your old work, then later you don't you realize, oh, you don't have a work permit there and you come back. I don't think the employer will, will, like, will let you come back. So that's a very critical stage. I think that's the only hardest part of that status kay syempre medyo may limitation ka when it comes to job and that's where you really gonna say that you have to 
sacrifice mo gina hakon nga mahambal dra dako gid nga sacrifice dako gid nga pasensya dako gid nga you know like like for me i i ginantos ko lang eh i i took it like an everyday thing lang na everyday ma survive and one day you'll can get what you want or you going to be something else or hopefully you know you can apply for a permanent resident and you know it's it's a long way to go but you know if you're here and then you make your way for it or you do your part to to reach that goal my possibly ganaya it's not impossible so those are the things that you have to remember only because you come here as a work permit you have a contract and you have to follow that contract but as i said anything here is possible anything here can be worked out so hindi ka madulaan gana or madulaan sang sang ambition to to come here because work permit lang no there's a lot of things that can happen here while you're here and there's a lot of things that you can do even you're in a work permit status okay so those are the things or those are the information that na may share ko regarding having or having a work permit status here in Canada or working visa status all right so guys let's go to the PR status medyo exciting ang PR status no kung pamatian which is true um first of all of course PR ka na residente ka na sang Canada it's like you're also a citizen sang Canada though so i think that's the biggest difference between having a work permit to a PR status Yes, of course, you can choose whatever kind of job you want. You can go to school. You are covered with medical services. Those are very important. So, tako ga advantage, of course, ang permanent resident ng application when you come here. Only thing that you have to remember, sometimes you have to start from the beginning, not really in the very hard beginning. There are people that right away, they find a job related to the field that they were doing before back in the Philippines or like mga construction services electrician plumbing if you have that kind of skill and you're a professional and you bring it here and you get certified to do that or you find a job related to that you're gonna be good I'm telling you um, those are the work type of work here a medyo high high pay bala especially mga construction na mga mga operator bala sa mga heavy equipments to get paid a lot mga government jobs of course medyo dako ang benefits not high paying but the benefits of government jobs here in Canada is very good so medyo mo na ang mga job nga ginusto mo bila targeton but of course not everybody goes to that you know may ara man yung mga mga nagkakabot rin yung mga PR nga, of course, they have to start from, you know, the, the beginning again, especially sa may mga family, you know, because of course here, when you come here as a family, let's say a husband and wife, and let's say, for example, two kids, like I said in my previous video, you have to work around the clock, right? Babysitting here is very expensive. Ang nani, Drea, it's not a joke. Sa aton, Drea, may yaya ka mo, may nani ka mo. Dua, tatlo, may, may labandera pa, may mga plancha pa. Here, it's different. So, if you if you realize that, medyo prepare, prepare yourself you with regards to that. If you come here as single, medyo dako man ang imong advantage because you can actually go to school. While, and while going to school, you can still work. And especially, if you go to school here and you have a diploma here or anything that you went to school here, when you apply for jobs, it's a big thing, especially sa mga tourism or sa mga house, ano na, housekeepings, anything, mga hotel, hotel before, they, they're very good with that. If you, if you go to school and then apply to hotels and then you have a very good, you know, credentials, you'll get a good job. And right away, sometimes right away you get a job. But, you know, if you go to school here, that's really a, a big thing too. And oh, others, others. Thinking nga gusto mo i consider dry ang mga ano health services nga mga mga courses. Yes, it's very good, especially health services because I think there some of them are really government 
owned or government properties. So let's think those are the things that you want to consider. Those are the jobs that you want to look at. So those are the advantage, right? So it's not that easy to apply because of the requirements here in Canada right now. But all I can tell you is that they increase the number of permanent resident application or they're gonna open a little bit more for immigrants this coming years so in order for Canada to come back they also need us immigrants so if you have the opportunity to apply you have the opportunity to to you know to consider applying for Canada as a permanent resident if you're eligible or if you're qualified if you are decided to come here in Canada and continue your life why not go for it okay that's all I can say um, yes you might start a little bit crazy or you might not it's up to you it's really up to you it's all up to you guys how you're gonna work it out here like I said everything here is hard work everything here is up to you to make it happen Canada is here there's a lot of opportunities there's a lot of things that to enjoy and it's all up to you how to make it happen for you or for your family this can work permit pero sa Canada ka go for it if you are PR and you're going to Canada for, or you're applying for a Canadian permanent resident go for it if you're applying for a work permit in Canada go for it that's all I can say why not Dibla? It's a privilege and it's a huge opportunity. And yes, just bear in mind, there's a lot of work to be done, but it's all up to you. So if you have huge plans for yourself or your family, you can start in here. Maybe you can achieve all whatever you dream of. Like I said, ako gani, halin malang ko sa squatter. Right now, I'm not saying I'm very successful, I'm very wealthy. But I'm okay. I'm okay here. Nagambal ganit na isa ka tao. Very important sa akin. Okay na da si NN. Okay na nada siya. Thank you. I'm okay. So anyways guys, that's all I can share with you today with that kind of topic regarding PR status and work permit status. I hope you have more information and hopefully one day you'll consider applying whichever man, PR man, work permit man, as long as it's going to Canada, diba? It's just the same. You just have to start somewhere else, right? Or you just have to start somewhere para lang achieve mo later on ang gusto mo. Alright, so I hope you have more information and hopefully it would help you someday if you decide to come or apply for Canada. So guys, in the beginning of my video, remember I mentioned you may suggest kung sa inyo pathway coming here in Canada. Here it is. I'm gonna tell you what it is. Basi inconsider nyo pani nga applyan. So, this is what you call student visa application. And if you wanna know about this, I'm gonna talk to you about this application on the next vlog. Amo na yaton pagkesoryan. So, click nyo na ang subscribe button dar para i-update ta kamo pag naka-upload na ko sang next ko nga video in regards to this topic. I think this is a good uh, application to consider if you want to come to Canada because I think this is faster. So guys, before I end this video, thank you guys sa mga nag-subscribe, kag sa mga nag-like sa akong nga videos and to those who are not subscribed yet, please just subscribe and click the notification button and leave some comment if you have any question. So hopefully may nakuha kamo information and may nakuha kamo nga maayo nga suggestion from me in the future if you want to apply for Canada. So Guys, until next time, Arisa NTV, Mastoriata.